All right, the crew, the crew's back at it. It hasn't been long. We couldn't wait to get back out. We uh, we found a random week weekend night, and we zipped down to Zaleski State Forest. We've been here. How many times have we been here? I don't know, countless times. We've like, been here many we times. Been here like a couple times. Um, this is just a good excuse to get outside. This is the this is a classic fun what we call party camp trip. So you know. We brought the fun stuff. We brought full happy hour. We've already mm -hmm. seen people. We've, we've already seen people we know on the trail, um, and hopefully the water's full. But we're at Zaleski State Forest, going to Camp One, full party trip, and Andy's setting up a sweet shot right now. Zaleski is like our kind of like go-to, just get out in the woods destination because we can get to the trailhead in like under under an hour. And there's there's a couple campgrounds within like six or seven miles of the uh, parking lot. And shout out to DBP, Dad's Backpacking Trips. Uh, we talked to him on the trail, he was coming out. And I think some of his buddies were going to camp too. And there was a warning on the, um, like the, the board, the trailhead board that said that the water, so normally here, they have like potable water pumps and there was a warning saying those were not going. But the dude we met on the trail said he called and they're filling them up. So we have water filters, but we might chance it. I'm also trying something new on this trip. So um, one thing that always terrifies me about hammock camping is you have to go to ground sometimes maybe when the conditions are less than perfect. So, and I've always wanted a tarp camp. So tonight, assuming everything goes to plan, I will be testing, I'll be tarp camping and testing the emergency go to ground hammock setup. So I t t tested it a little bit in Andy's backyard, playing with the tarp and using trekking poles, but this could be an interesting one. Finally doing some tarp camping. Man, it is humid out here <laughs> back to summer backpacking oh but at least the trail is dry you can see how wet it used to be uh-oh I have a map no, no you're supposed to go that way but you can go that oh, way. oh okay and Zaleski is just in full green mode today I mean we are in full summer camping right now but we kind of hit a weekend where it's not too hot not too humid the bugs don't seem so bad so i don't think it's going to be too bad um so i think we're going to shoot for the first campsite that's only a couple miles in and hopefully there's water there but if not there's some of these that we can we can fill up at I, uh, I forgot what it was like to hike in the heat. Yeah. You know, our last two trips, our last like eight trips, have all been like below 70 degrees for most of the trip. Not, uh, not this one, and it's humid. It's classic Ohio humidity. So I really hope there's water at this pump. Otherwise, we're gonna be backtracking and uh, finding water somewhere because it's, we're like a mile in and I'm already covered in sweat because it's so humid. This trail, even though it's Ohio, just beats the crap out of Cranberry Wilderness in terms of like quality of trail. I mean, we've gotten spoiled with this kind of stuff. Just open, it's actually really soft and easy to follow. I and mean, you can see this one's blazed. And like unlike Cranberry where it wasn't blazed and overgrown, I mean, this is such a high trafficked area that you never have to worry about that. And I swear to God, I'm gonna cry tears of happiness if those water things are full. Cause I'm not looking forward to backtracking like a mile to camel up. Of course, the one time I don't bring Zale water into Zaleski, the pumps may be dry. All right, we're there. Oh man, that was sweaty. So. Bit, bit of bad news, the water is not working. So 
That sucks. I don't know what we're gonna do. This Sam, guy made a mistake. You know, it was funny. I was like, the one time you don't one bring time, it. I've been here he, probably he's eight really times. really good about this. I know you yeah. yelled at me to, to do yeah. this. So I, I, I remember Well, now. I was going to when I saw that the sign yeah. said there was no water, but I was like, ah, oh, we'll just fill up on the way. Well, Miles, bless his heart, hiked down and found, I might give this a five out of 10. Gosh, wow. you're kicking up I so much stuff. <laughs> So I think we're gonna live. This is better than the puddle I was getting out of. So good to know if you come to Zaleski, those um, those things are not a, a done deal. So we're gonna we're literally gonna camel way up, I and mean, we're gonna probably filter six to eight liters right here, and that'll be enough. The suspension just goes, goes like, like, like that. I mean, it's not going to be hot tonight anyway. I just want to. So it goes like that. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to loosen it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I see. Dude, that's fucking easy to shit. Yeah. Here, I loosen yours all the way. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty loose too. I know, I've I got mine as loose as I can make it. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> nice. I'm going to push my pants. Sandals. I'm going to push my pants. Yeah, I wish I had the Costco quilt. The, the funny thing is the Costco quilt weighs more than my 20 degree quilt. <laughs> so Kevin decided to try to figure out an experiment with sleeping on the hammock on the ground, like oh, the go to ground. So he put the banyan on the ground with the it sleeping pad. Bad. Yeah, no, it, it'll be comfortable if, if you like sleeping on the ground. But the. I have a pad to sleep on. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Miles. I found a nice uh, bed of leaves over there because I forgot, slash, didn't bring my mattress pad. Yeah, Miles forgot his uh, foam pad. So. All right. Yeah, but I mean, uh -huh, I yeah. Gotta, I gotta just make the ridge line tighter. Yeah, but the ridge line's just running right, right across here. Like, well, the, I can. <sighs> <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that mosquito net really comes off your face. I know. I gotta tighten it. You know what you could do? Nah. You could unhook the dog bones, and then just. I can also pull these out. You could unhook the dog bones so that's off there underneath you and. Um, Somehow. I could just tighten the ends and bring it up a little bit. But then you're basically gonna be. You know what I mean? I don't. You're basically gonna be in a hammock two inches off the ground. Well, it won't be. Uh, these trees aren't gonna spread right, but I can. Yeah. I can. Uh, I got room. 
You might have to do an emergency and go to, go to air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the finished product. So I know it looks a little weird now, but I actually ended up using the tree straps. First I used the trekking poles, but it made sense to use the tree straps and I put a little bit of tension. And so it, it's, it looks like it's up off the ground. It is there, but when you get in it, it's just enough tension to where the, the ridge line is like maybe an inch off your body. So definitely a coffin bivy style, but it works and I've got the tarp and I pour, I did like a, a like a, uh, like a miniature porch mode over here and then down in the back. So this is it. All right, Sam, I gotta know what. <laughs> so I thought I was, yeah. I brought in a Yeti. I yeah, thought well, I was I, bad. I, I mean, this is, this is the economy version. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like twice the size. I know, and it's probably a lot heavier too. Oh, I mean, Mine's pretty heavy. Yeah, but uh, you probably have more liquid in there. What do you got in there? Uh, so I have an array of, actually, I stuffed this pretty well. Oh, this is great. Yeah, what did you bring? I've got <clears throat> Strawberries, <laughs> ginger ale, oh my God. Um, another Dude. drink. I have orange, apple, and then I have uh, <laughs> and I have fish in the Tupperware. Oh, no, that's oh yeah, and we're all. Uh, so we're gonna. I think we're gonna make, yeah. make like a meat medley. We're uh, so we have not gone through the dinner options, but a stellar <laughs> no backpacking food, a stellar array of food and beverages tonight. I don't know where Andy and Miles went. Here's a rundown of Andy and I's food. So oh, we boy. got. What do we got here? We got broccoli and mushrooms. Yep. We got some cheddar sausages. We got a bunch of uh, chopped up bell peppers and we got about a pound or two of steak Ugh. and an avocado. Oh, nice. That's not all gonna fit in that skillet. <laughs> Maybe it will. Oh, yeah, and I got Frank's right out. All right, Sam, what's Sam bringing to the table? It's wrapped in like butcher, oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> you have salmon. Oh my god, it's a real salmon filet. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna be doing some training. It's good. We're gonna be doing some training. Yeah, this yeah. is gonna be some training. Surf and oh, yeah. turf, buddy. That's what we're doing. Oh, all right, Miles. All right, bring it over. Oh my god, he brought the Tupperware. Oh, ribs. You got some ribs. Oh, they're pre sauce. Oh, you did bring a some potato. and some potato. Nice. All right, so here's something hilarious Kevin packed in. Yeah. <laughs> and, whiskey, and, those are the Buffalo Trace brand of cubes. Yeah, these are the Buffalo Trace uh, whiskey cubes. He, he packed in the the whole good. whiskey cube. He has yeah, a. Good. Yeah, actually, I, I, mean, I made a whiskey ginger. Yeah. For like packing in ice, they're good because they're so big. They last forever. Yeah. Sam, your fillet is in the middle, right? Uh, we got salmon. Yes. I, yeah, in the middle, the salmon. And we got a bunch of ribs on this log. Fargo titanium. We got the meat medley. The meat medley. I still haven't had the sausage in there yet. Oh, that's gonna be huge. All Ooh, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> so like, forty-five minutes ago. Yeah, it's like 30 Almost. Yeah. 30 yeah. minutes At least a half hour. Yeah. A nice woman comes up here and appears to be camping at the site below us. And it's like, can I borrow your lighter? Presumably to start a fire. Of course we're going to say yes. And we're like, obviously. We're and Andy <laughs> even offered fire starters. And that was like 35 minutes ago. And they have since left the campsite and no one's around. So Andy thinks he might have just had his lighter stolen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Update. He, got it. He, he literally just came after we said that. <laughs> Yeah, he got it back. Hey, you got some good hiking karma there, yeah. right there, you know? Yeah. She's a great dog, too. Works. Andy and I's final meal. Meat tornado with meat, vegetables. Meat, what'd you call it before? Meat tornado with, with vegetables. Uh, meat medley. Meat medley. Meat medley. Sam's turn. Sam, I, I got, I gotta, I gotta give it to you. I've never considered bringing salmon out on a backpacking now trip. We have. <laughs> But uh, it's actually knife, turned yeah. out really good. Yeah. You want a knife? All right, the final the final meal, the ribs, they do look pretty good. Pre-cut, pre-sauce, just heat them up. That's a pretty good strategy. I've Let's seen see. people do that with steaks, with they steak, steak dishes too. Like pre-cooked steak and, and like, uh, like backpacking Jason does steak and pecker, peppers and he, he pre-cooks them with like Worcestershire and then you just bring it out and heat it up on the fire. That's a good strategy too. So here's Miles' setup. He is, um, like our previous videos, he's using the Ultiplex. Um, he's, he's short, so he doesn't have to worry about the length. I always screw up the length of this pole. Um, but oh, he left it open like a rookie. Bugs and stuff over there. Anyway, he, he left his sleeping pad in the car. And he's claiming that he has a pretty comfortable lay in here. I mean, he's got the casco quilt, low 56, he should be fine. But he's claiming 
with all these uh, leaves, he actually has a pretty comfortable lay, but I, I think he's going to be miserable. I couldn't imagine just laying on the ground. And uh, pretty good looking tarp setup. It'll work. It's going to be interesting. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I guess it's, it's always good to just practice it at least once. All right, end of the night here. I think I'll be okay in this setup. We'll see. For sure, I'll be more comfortable than Miles. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. I might, I might be sleeping on the ground yeah. in a hammock, but at least I have a pad, and he's full of crap if he thinks he's going to be better or just sleeping on the ground. But solid night, solid food, solid happy hour. Uh, uh, the coffin. All right. How was it? It was delightful. No, get out of here. What? It was delightful? Uh-huh. <laughs> Just on the bare ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, had some neighbors last night. Good morning, man. You know, got the coffee going. So, um, not a bad night in the emergency tarp ground setup, honestly. It could have been a lot worse. It, it was fine. Um, something pretty funny, though. So, at like 10.30 last night, a bunch of people came into our camp. And they just set up right next to us, so... That was a first, <laughs> kind of weird, but well. Um, but we're just, you know, making some coffee, packing up and getting out. I mean, that's what we're doing on these overnights. But uh, the, the emergency setup worked well. Um, I was very happy to test that. The next the next test, which I'm not gonna do, would be to set it up without trees, because that was kind of cheating. You set up, is that why it's so soft? The fire ant mound? Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was raining. Sam's got two mugs. I got two. I got extra coffee. All right, we are we are out. Early morning. We literally just got up. Half half because we just wanted to get out. The other half was there's just randomly three people in our campsite now. So it was a little weird in the morning. But so they came in at like 10:30 and they probably were just like done camping and they just plopped down right in our campsite it was fine i mean it was it was late so i get it but uh we're honestly just out into the car beautiful very crisp morning here i mean like 54 55 not humid um, so pretty perfect temperature had some adagliadoro um initial thoughts on the emergency setup not bad not as comfortable as being in the hammock in the air but I'm glad I was able to test that. One interesting thing, which was a little bit surprising, was there weren't a ton of people there at the campground. Usually at Seleski, these campgrounds are loaded with people, but probably the lack of water, um, I don't know what, there were like, there were still like 30, 30, 30 plus people there. So I don't know what they're doing for water. I mean, luckily, Miles found a little honey hole like literally a big puddle that was pretty recent from rainwater that was like a quarter of a mile 
down into the ravine from our campsite and we were able to use that. <clears throat> it was perfect, but I don't know what those other people were doing. I mean, there's no water up there. Um, so thank God for that, but not, not too many people. Um, so, but as ironic as it is, there weren't that many people, but people camped right next to us. I think they just came in and they were just done. It was 1030. It was two guys and a girl and they were just like, just find the closest spot they can set their tents up and go to sleep. So that's fine. What were your initial thoughts of the, the Kenny Banyan hammock? Uh, so definitely the flattest I've ever been in a hammock for sure. And don't have to even worry about like the calf ridge or any of that stuff. Um, it was, it was very good. It was very good. And, uh, so, I, I, I need some more time in it. There, it was it's definitely- a little bit different to set up than a gathered in hammock. Yeah, it was, um, this isn't a bad thing, but I noticed that like it kind of like squeezed my shoulders a little bit. Interesting. Um, but again, not a bad thing. Uh, it was fine sleeping on the side, fine sleeping on my back. It was, yeah, I mean, it was super duper comfortable. It's definitely, it's more, it's different to set up though. Yeah, I think the thing that I, I'm struggling with right now is the is like the weight and carrying poles and stuff, so. It's a little heavier. Yeah, I don't, it's, a, I mean, it was a great night's sleep, so I'm not complaining, it was comfy, so. 